Okay. Yeah. So this is a short experiment to help you guys visualize atmospheric pressure that is being exerted on us all the time, right? So what I'll do is I have this glass of water, right? And I have this sheet of paper. What I'm going to do is I'll place this on it. Just make sure it's very smooth, right? And the next step is I'll flip this over, right? So what I'm going to do next is I'll remove this hand and I'll let it flow. Have a look. So what is this? How does this happen? Have a look. What happened was that uh, when we had water inside the glass, right? So the air inside the glass is less than the air outside the glass and hence the air pressure. Air pressure inside the glass, which is pushing it downwards, it's less. Air pressure outside the glass and hence outside this paper is higher, which is pushing it this paper upwards. So as simple as that, there is a difference in air pressures. That is why the paper stays in its position. That is why the paper stays in the air because it is being pushed upwards because of the air pressure and, and the air pressure inside the glass is very less. So this mismatch causes this sheet of paper to stay, right? So if this glass was empty, just like this, uh, this is an in inverted glass with no water in it. If you place a sheet of paper over here, it is definitely going to fall down because the amount of air inside the glass and outside the glass is equal. The amount of air on the top and bottom of this sheet of paper will be the same. It will be the atmospheric pressure. There is no pressure mismatch. That is why it will fall down in an empty glass, but it will not fall down in a glass with water, right? You should try this at home as well.